The Times. It's page 10. Yes, there's a lot of criticism being aimed at the, uh, the government in general and, and the Home Office and Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, in general, in, in, in specifically, I mean, um, in particular, because we seem to be slow out the traps in, in helping give uh, refuge to people fleeing war in Ukraine. Now, the Home Secretary is going to announce today that um, the 7,000 7, Ukrainians living in Britain will be able to bring their families here. But there's increasing frustration about the slowness of this sponsorship uh, scheme uh, to get people into, into Britain. I mean, there's, Poland have taken over a million people already. Um, and Britain seems to be so slow at getting out the traps. Um, in contrast to in the contrast. visas we gave to the Russians, well, the golden Well, visas. exactly. I mean, yeah, Brit- the strange thing is... In this country, um, immigration has become, and, and, and asylum has become a bit of a problem. Over the centuries, we've been very good. The Huguenots came here fleeing religious oppression. There was the Vietnamese boat people, the Syrians. We, 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 Kinder we, transport. Lo- yeah. Yes, all, the, all those people came here. Um, and then in the 1990s, when uh, Tony Blair opened up the borders, immigration suddenly became a hot issue and the European expansion and people were able to come here freely. And, of course, that led to the Brexit referendum. And we're in danger of losing our reputation of being kind and, and welcoming to refugees. Mm. And now, the poll we ran in the Sun on Sunday last weekend showed that people are willing to have hundreds of thousands of refugees here. Mm. But the government seemed to be very slow off the mark, and the Home Office, most of them are still working from home, I'm mm. told. Are. Um, are, are very so is slow this Priti Patel's moving. fault, or is it civil service? Well, that's the difficult question. Um, at the end of the day, the book stops with the Home Secretary. Mm. Yeah. Well, she is in charge, isn't she? I mean, surely she should be the one making the decisions and, and, and pushing them through. I mean, maybe she got the temperature wrong completely on this one because, you know, historically, uh, refugees have not been so welcome because their conflicts haven't been televised in a way that, mm, that this one's yeah. televised. Mm. Mm. The, other, the, other, the other bad optic is that she's saying it's very difficult to get all these. Uh, visas sorted out, we're trying our best and we're working in difficult circumstances, we get all that. But these are women and children fleeing war and yet it seems to be easier for people to get in via boats across the channel. Yeah. Who are, who yeah. are, I think that's a big issue a lot of gangs. people have, isn't it? And it's quite clear. I mean, I, I do agree that we can't just waive the visa system. We do need to have checks in place for security issues, so I completely agree with that. But it's just it's just the lack of organisation, isn't it? We don't even know where the processing centres are. You know, you apply in one place, you apply in another. You've got people turning up in France, being told to go back to Paris to process your application. And are, is there just... a bigger threat of security issues for us in the UK? I mean, why are other countries not so fearful as we are? I don't understand why all these countries seem to be opening the gates and, and we're afraid that Russian spies are flooding in. I, I, I don't understand the contrast.